Oh, hey, hi. I'm Jalen Johnston. I want to show you something, guys. You know, I'm on telephone standby uh, for jury duty in San Luis Obispo County all week, which I guess is better than sitting at the courthouse and waiting around to see if you're going to get selected to be on a jury. But at the same time, it means you kind of can't make any plans. So here it is, Thursday evening, and I'm calling in to see if I've got to go in there tomorrow. Let's find out. Let's find right out. To continue in English, say continue or press 1. 1. To use your juror badge number to get information on your jury service, it's 1. 1. Please enter your juror badge number. Man, I've gotten fast with that. You do not need to report for jury service. You have fulfilled your obligation for 12 months from the date of your service. Thank you for contributing to our system of justice. You are if welcome. Like to request a work certificate confirming your jury service. Press one. No, motherfucker. That's right. So, um, I'm done. That was my jury duty. Interesting, huh? Basically, every weekday I've been calling in, past five days, to see if they needed me the next day, and apparently they don't. So I'm free. So I'm done. So that's nice. That'll uh, at least buy me another year. So I celebrated by fixing my motorcycle tire. And I'll, sh I'll show you that if you want to see that process. Is that interesting to you? Yes? Nod your head yes? 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 Okay, cool. So here's what I got. I got this uh, core remover, kind of like a screwdriver, but if you can see it has kind of those two little prongs on the end and then a little hole down in the middle. And basically what that does is it pulls out the valve core from that little stem guy right there. And we've got some valve cores here. That's what they look like. And then just in case something goes wrong while I'm out and about and don't have access to this tool, I got some valve caps. They actually have kind of a similar prong type attachment on the valve caps themselves. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the core remover out. Pull the core out of that there back flat tire on my KLR 650. Let's see what we can do. I'm definitely going to need two hands for this. Go ahead and pull this one out. Righty tighty, lefty loosey, right? I don't know if this was damaged or if it just came unseated, but that's it right there. I can't see any damage, so yeah, it probably just popped out. So honestly, I'm just gonna throw this back in. All right, so that's in there pretty good. And now, since I don't have an air compressor in the garage just yet, I get to spend time with a hand pump. Well, crap. It did it again. So it looks like something about that valve core is done, it is toast. So uh, I'll bust out one of the ones from the package. That's why I bought them. Ah, so there's the new valve core. Red instead of black. So we know that's a different one. Let's hope this fixes it. There we go. All right. Now time to pump again. Hooray! I just got about 15 PSI in here. Now I'm gonna take this off and see if it uh, is holding pressure. Don't wanna get it all inflated all the way up and then find out that the core is not holding pressure. Now that, that is what we wanted. So that means my fix was a broken valve core stem, which is actually a fantastic problem to have because the valve core tool to change them out, a set of four valve cores, and those extra caps that actually kind of have the little valve core remover on them were seven bucks. Seven bucks. See that, guys? It pays to do your own work, even if it leaves you with really filthy hands. Right? So uh, I'm just going to inflate this the rest of the way. Hooray. Gotta get an air compressor. Done. Aside from a little grime on the hands, seven dollars. No problem. Ooh, I got a text message. It's from a lady. It was a good one.